With us now is Scott. How are you? Good, good. How are you today? Good. Which nappy is this for you? It's 17, but it's, that means 2017. Nappy's been around for a long time. Do you remember your first time you came? Yeah, it was a long time ago. It was 30 some odd years ago okay. when I was 12 and it was in uh, Atlanta. And then, of course, I went to L.A., and then I think it was here, and then I went to Vegas, now it's back here, so I've been to many. Tell us about your production journey, because you've been in the industry for a long time. I know you're working on Exposed, and we're going to talk about that, but right. so, what are some of the other highlights of your career that, that you're well, I started proud off, of? I really started off doing a lot of music programming with the early MTV uh, days. I directed some of the uh, early concerts with Huey Lewis in the News, Chuck Berry, Blue Oyster Cult. Um, Garland Jeffries, boy there were some really cool ones in there that I got to do. <laughs> Squeeze, did that for a while. Uh, then I was in the game show area, I produced um, some of your favorites, Love Connection, Hollywood Squares, Newlywed Game, Dating Game, Gong Show. Uh, we did Wheel of Fortune, yes, two and two, two, two. We did Wheel of Fortune for kids and we did Jep, which was the uh, kids version for Jeopardy, Rock and Roll Jeopardy. Wow. Many, many, I, many you, others. It's good that you remember all of them, kind of in chronological order almost. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of like, you know, when my kid says, what have you done, Dad? I sort of give him the list, you know. You could always say that you're, the, you're responsible for the more cowbell, yes. maybe. maybe. Yes, <laughs> yes, you're right. You're right. And then, you know, we moved into, a uh, production company moved into other things, and into music. Uh, back into music, we do Live from Daryl's House with Daryl Hall. Um, we've done shows now with HGTV and DIY. We've done uh, the Shatner Project. We redid his house. Uh, Mark Ballas and Derek Huff, the Mark, Mark and Derek's Excellent Adventure. Uh, we flipped the house with them. Um, restoring Charleston, and we have a new one calling Rehab Crazy, which will be on later this year. Uh, and then we're in the crime business. That yeah. seems to be it. You know, our, our <laughs> big show is um, On the Case with Paul Azan. We've been on for 15 seasons on Investigation Discovery. So it's really been a, an amazing ride, over 200 episodes now, or as I say, over 200 murders. So that's a lot. And now we have two new series coming up. One is with Deborah Norville called Exposed with Deborah Norville on Reels Channel, which will come on this spring. I think we have a premiere date of uh, April the 12th. Congratulations, that's awesome. Thank you, and that'll be around Hollywood crime, okay. Hollywood problems, Hollywood issues, celebrities who have done things not so good, and you know, we take a really a, a, a deep look into what that is, and Deborah is, is my co-EP, we're both executive producers on the project, uh, is hosting and, and uh, we're very excited about it. And the other show we're doing is a new show for Investigation Discovery, which is called The Real Story with Maria Elena Salinas. And that goes on the air also this spring. So uh, we're crime-fested for 2017. Aha. Uh -huh. And who do yeah. you think done it, right? No. And who done it is <laughs> who right. Who done it? Who done it? Right. Uh, well, you've done it. Obviously, you have had a long-standing career in this industry. What do you like most about the process for you personally? What do you, what do you enjoy? What, you know, after you've done it over and over and over again, you know, concept to completion, concept to completion, what lights you up still? I think it's really the, the passion for storytelling or when it comes to music, amazing musicians, when it comes to game shows, watching people answer questions and win money, <laughs> that's also good. But, you know, I get up in the morning and I'm excited about trying to find new things to get involved in, keep our projects going. Content is changing all the time. I mean, from the digital side, we have a whole digital um, division that we're putting together. So, you know, you got to keep up with everybody. Now that I have gray hair, I have to check in with the, uh, the 25 to 30 year olds and all of that. So. I think you're as young as ever, though, because you're obviously you're here. A lot of people know you. People wave to you. They say hi to you. They like connecting with you. Um, people were saying it's kind of like a reunion every year. It is. It is. And that is a reunion. You get to see everybody. You bump into people. That's the fun part of it. Because, you know, we've all sort of grown up together through it all. And now the people that are... Um, little older and in my area you know are running networks and are charge in charge of programming and they're making shows so you know we sort of watched each other's careers go side by side and 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 uh, we celebrate the uh, successes do you feel it's easier for you to get a yes to a project now to get a project green lighted because of your long standing history have you built like a reputation for yourself that makes it yes easier or do you think it's still the same process of well it's a good question um, it's very difficult to get a yes, no matter who you are. I think you know there's these upper echelon producers who have big, big names, and they call and they get a, a yes. That doesn't mean that the show is going to work. Okay. You know, so I still find the process uh, uh, challenging. You got to put together the right package, the right talent, the right sizzle reel or presentation, and you hope that the buyer 
whatever network you're pitching to is uh, excited about what they're hearing and as they have to change as they change their brand and they have to figure out what their eyeballs want you sort of have to go with the flow so a pitch one month might be terrific but six months down the line it may be totally irrelevant you're right timing is everything yeah. um, what are you philanthropic about what what is your cause do you have something that, that lights you up also personally that you like to use your talents to make a difference well I've been I've been part of a, an organization for 35 years called vital options which is about used to be support for young adults with cancer uh, and now I'm still involved with them and it's all about supporting people who have the disease and getting the right tools and the right doctors and the right information to them. My mother's a breast, breast cancer survivor, so I'm very uh, involved in all that and whatever little, little, little piece I can do, I want to be helpful. Well, we right. thank you for spending some time with us. You bet. Have a great time. Yeah, I know, and I know you're going to start. I know. I was going to say you're starting your panel starting. So thank you very good. much. Okay. Happy journeys to you. Thank you.